Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about the traction motors and certain features of traction motor. We know that uh, we have various choice of different motors we can use for traction duty. But certain features we discuss today in this lecture which is desired for traction motor. So we have various choice like a DC series motor, DC compound motor as well as we have AC motor, three phase induction motor, single phase series AC motor. But to select a traction motor for traction service, we require matching of desired characteristic. We have load characteristic of traction duty and accordingly matching desired characteristic of the motor is required. Good performance and suitable mechanical as well as electrical features. To obtain the desired performance, the traction motor must be precisely controlled and the control has to perform following functions like uh, economic and efficient starting, effective and efficient speed control, quick reversal of rotation, economical and efficient braking, protection, switching and isolation work. So these are some of the functions which must be performed for the desired performance of the traction motor. We have number of features which is required for the traction motor but broadly it can be classified into two category. Mechanical features as well as electrical features. Now we will discuss some of the mechanical features briefly first and then we will discuss electrical features. The very first mechanical feature that is a robustness. Traction motor must be strong enough to withstand continuous vibration and other forces acting during running of train. So robustness of the traction motor is a very essential feature of the traction motor. The yoke of the traction motor must be fabricated from the very good quality cast steel. Lightweight. For traction motor, high power to weight ratio is always desired. Lesser the weight of the motor, higher the operating efficiency. Overall size. The physical dimension of the motor depends on diameter of the driving wheel, width of the track gauge, ground clearance, etc. Using high speed motor, overall size can be reduced and this should be done at the designing and manufacturing stage. By using a very high quality insulation, the size of the machine can be reduced. Totally enclosed. Traction motor must be totally enclosed and that protects itself against increase of dirt, dust, mud water etc. So these are some of the mechanical features required for the traction motor. Now let us discuss some of the electrical features. High starting torque. Traction motor should be capable of developing high starting torque as train has to start with heavy load and accelerate to maximum speed. So 
the traction motor must be capable to develop very high starting torque parallel running in case of traction motor we normally use a more than one traction motor in parallel they might be two four or six traction motors together so they can have a characteristic which can be operated in parallel and mechanically coupled so as to set the load almost equal and constant simple and easy speed control as traction motor has to start and stop frequently easy simple and economical speed control is preferred overload capacity traction motor must be capable of taking temporary overload without causing flux over at commutator voltage fluctuation traction motor should be capable of withstanding voltage fluctuation of supply without affecting its normal performance temporary interruption of supply traction motor should be capable of withstanding temporary interruption of supply which occurs while crossing over and over section insulators easy electric braking easy and simple method of dynamic or regenerative braking is preferred self relieving property it has a characteristic that speed may fall with the increase in load traction motor must be protected by itself because when load increase the speed decrease and in terms of power we know that power is a product of torque and the speed so with the increase in the load speed may fall this characteristic is known as a self relieving property high efficiency traction motor must have high mechanical as well as electrical efficiency so as to improve its performance and reduce running cost so these are some of the mechanical as well as electrical features required in traction motor but in a single any single motor all the features might not be possible we have certain option like a dc series motor dc compound motor three phase induction motor we have to choose the best possible traction motor which possess maximum features as required thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much